Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Stephanie Eddy and I'm a Partner Account Manager for the Azure Circle. Joining me today, we have National PTAs Jack Haas and Shane Koenig. Today they will be presenting Password Sync from a local domain to Office 365 using DirSync in Azure. So with that, we'll turn it over to them. Jack and Shane? Thanks, Steph. Uh, this is Jack Haas, and uh, we're going to start by logging into the, our Azure account and then selecting Active Directory on the left side. At this point, uh, since we are connecting to an Office 365 account, we're going to select Add a Directory and then Use an Existing Directory. At this point, it's going to provide you a URL, uh, which we're going to copy and then paste into our browser. Uh, this will then prompt us to log in to our Office 365 account. You'll be uh, presented with an Azure Active Directory sign-in where you will be using the uh, Global Administrator uh, login credentials from your Office 365 account and then presented with this dialog box saying, um, asking if you'd like to use uh, this service to manage your directory, Office 365 directory. So we'll hit continue here. And now it'll say you confirm that uh, you're using this Windows Azure to control your Office 365 account. So when we sign out, we can then go back to our Windows Azure and log in, and we can see the uh, user now popu populate. You'll see your global administrator now present uh, in your Azure account. As you can see here, uh, I've been added as the uh, admin on the A Azure Active Directory side of things now. Uh, with this, I'm going to pass it over to uh, Shane Koenig where he will uh, talk about the remaining steps to finish the installation. Okay, now that the Windows Azure Active Directory Sync Tool Configuration Wizard has loaded and we're on the welcome screen, we'll click Next. The first thing it's going to ask for is your Windows Azure Active Directory Administrator credentials. For this, you'll want to use your global Office 365 Administrator credentials. In our case, it's admin at adsetup.onmicrosoft.com. When you hit next, it authenticates against your Office 365 subscription, and once that successfully completes, it moves on and asks you for your Active Directory credentials. Uh, the account here has to be an enterprise administrator account, and I highly suggest that you use this account only for the synchronization and for no other procedures within the domain. Our domain is on-prem, and the account that we are using is APAC admin. Once it authenticates with against the local domain, it comes to the hybrid deployment page. If we turn on hybrid deployment, it will allow you to make some changes to certain fields in Azure Active Directory and have them synchronize with your local domain. In our case, we do want to turn this on. And you, to do so, you need to hit the space bar. Once you've done that, the box will be checked. And uh, it's important also to note that you cannot create any new items in, a in Azure Active Directory and have them replicate back to the local domain. If you create a new user in Azure Active Directory, it will create a user in your Office 365 subscription, but it will not create that user in your local Active Directory. So we click Next. We do want to turn on password synchronization, and uh, that will synchronize all the passwords as the users are created from the local domain up to the Office 365 accounts. When I hit Next, it goes to Configuring, which will take about two to three minutes. Uh, once that completes, we will be able to, uh, to go through and finish the process 
um, it will give you a link um, that you can use to uh, to get information on how to verify whether synchronization is taking place but I actually prefer to log back into my Azure subscription and take a look in there and and see if everything has actually replicated up and then check also in the Office 365 subscription just to make sure everything is working the way that it should. Now I will check the synchronize my directories now which will immediately synchronize anything in the local domain and create an account for it in Office 365 as well as set its password to be the same. When you click finish the link that I was talking about pops up you can click on that to get some more information about verifying the that directory synchronization is working properly. As I explained earlier though, I prefer to actually come into my Azure subscription and actually check uh, that it's working properly firsthand. So as you see here in the source from column, there are two users that were created from the local Active Directory. The second account was an account that was backwards replicated from the Office 365 subscription. And then the third account in the list that was sourced from Windows Azure Active Directory is a Windows Azure Active Directory account uh, that was created uh, during the synchronization process. So we can see that everything was working properly uh, in the Windows Azure Active Directory. So now let's log in and check our Office 365 subscription to make sure that everything has synchronized properly there. All right, so we go in and we we look under users and groups and right away I see that there are two users that were synced with Active Directory and those users are the same two users that were in our Windows Azure Active Directory synced from the local domain and they have appeared here so they should be uh, just fine. I'm going to assign licenses to each of the users. That is another necessary step after uh, everything has synced. You still have to do that and it is a manual process. So now that our users have licenses, we need to actually log on to a machine in the domain and configure their Outlook and show just what we need to do to uh, simulate single sign-on. It's not true single sign-on from the aspect that once their password changes, they will have to actually update the password, but they can keep the credentials saved and for the majority of the time uh, they can launch and close their Outlook, SharePoint and other Office 365 applications without any issue. So I've logged back into the Azure portal and I reconnected to my Dersync server. I'm going to log on with an account uh, from the domain and configure the Outlook for that user. All right, we're getting logged on and 
It's just taking a minute or two extra here. Right, the next thing we need to do is actually locate Outlook and get it running and start configuring. So we want to connect with a mail account and it's going to ask us uh, for our name and email address. All right, once we've entered our information, it's going to establish our network connection. It's making sure that the email account exists. Uh, two green check marks are a very good sign, and it will actually add your account. You click Finish. It will close out and relaunch Outlook. So I'm going to close out, locate it again, we launch it, it does ask for your, your username and password the first time, even though it has the correct username. but we will check the Remember My Credentials box. Close out. And relaunch, and it launches in just as if it had single sign-on. Now, it's just important to note that this is still just the password sync option for use with Office 365, but it is using a, it is working as directed and we are using it to actually sync our passwords from the local domain up to our Office 365 subscription. Uh, by checking the box that remembers the credentials, it will allow you uh, to have the appearance of single sign-on, but as soon as your password changes based on your local domain policy, you will be asked for the password again, and you'll have to recheck the box. Having said that, though, um, everything is working uh, the way that it should. Uh, there is one more important thing that I would like to point out at this point. And that is actually if we go back into our uh, Windows Azure subscription and we look at our Active Directory tab, uh, there is currently no way to actually remove uh, this Active Directory without actually opening a ticket uh, with the Azure team to have it removed. So you have to be really careful 
uh, when you actually sync this with your Office 365 um, inside your Azure subscription and make sure that you've set it up correctly and that this is actually what you're looking to do. Uh, having said that, uh, we really appreciate uh, everybody who views this. I hope you find this very useful and uh, please look for more videos uh, from Jack and I, uh, Dean and Dale, on the National PTA team uh, working for Microsoft.